the Dandi March Yatra, starting in 1835. When provinces in India increasingly came under rule, the British imposed a tax on Indian salt and a series of salt laws. The tax raised the prices of Indian salt and made it difficult for Indians, especially for poor people, to buy the salt they needed. The salt laws made it illegal for Indians to collect, produce or sell salt. Anyone who produce or sell salt in India outside of the British could be imprisoned for six months. Gandhi and many other found the imposition of the salt tax and the restrictions on salt production unfair and decided to protest against them. He said, Next to air and water, salt is the greatest necessity of our life. Gandhi organized a salt march from Gandhi Ashram in Ahmedabad to the seaside village of Dandi in the south of Gujarat. It started on the 12th of March 1930 with Gandhi and 78 people. We know them as the freedom fighters because they not only freedom against unfair laws but also for Indian freedom from British rule. Against it 240 miles from Ahmedabad to Dandi, thousands of people from all over India joined the march to protest British rule. The high salt taxes entered the unfairness of not being to produce and sell their own salt. Gandhi and his followers walked about 12 miles a day and reached Dandi in three weeks. He called it a battle of right against might. At the end of March, Gandhi picked up some grain of salt from the seashore and took a pledge. With these crystals of salt, I am going to shake the foundation of the British Empire. With the Dandi March, Gandhi launched the civil disobedience movement against the British Empire following the Salt March. 60,000 Indians along with Gandhi were jailed. But the British administration eventually and invited Gandhi to London to discuss the reforms in India. Gandhi's salt got wide news coverage and proved to be a turning in the history of India's independence movement that to lead independence in 1947 with this act of standing up against injustice. Gandhi shot the foundation of the British Empire in India. He showed that by working together, people of conversation and courage, even if each one is as small and powerless as a grain of salt, can make an enormous difference. Thank you.